Norway is one of the top 10 aquaculture producers, and the industry goes to great lengths to secure feed for farmed fish. It has even sent factory ships to the other end of the earth to vacuum krill, tiny crustaceans eaten by penguins and whales, from Antarctic waters. But a couple of Norwegian companies are looking a little closer to home. An Institute of Marine Research team believes insects are the perfect candidate to replace traditional fish meal. Insects are so great because they can actually eat what we can't eat, right? So you can use uh, organic side streams out of the food industry, for example, things that can't be used for uh, animal feed directly or it can't be used for human consumption. You can feed them to insects and they eat it and convert it into protein, fat, like really high quality products. Mealworms are never happier than when munching their way through the kind of food that would make most people wretch. The Aquafly project team also turned to the ocean for ingredients. We fed kelp to the insects and we saw that by using kelp to grow insects we could have higher amounts of omega-3 in the larvae as well as vitamin E, iodine, all these good things that come from the marine environment in the product. And then we use this further into fish feed. The startup CO2 Bio is also looking at an aquatic plant as fish feed. It's using carbon dioxide captured from the nation's largest oil refinery to nourish the growth of algae in a greenhouse. We take uh, the CO2 from the refinery. Uh, we are at the test center and um, use that for production of algae and biomass uh, to produce omega-3 acid for the fish industry. And that should be uh, food uh, for the fish and later on for the people. The transparent tubes filled with warm seawater provide ideal conditions for algae to turn the gas into food using the same process of photosynthesis as other plants. The algae is harvested, dried and processed. And like mealworms, algae can also grow with a diet of waste products. For example, on the leftover products from aquaculture as the poo of the fish or fish blood and as well for municipality waste, organic liquids. Um, yeah, that's making it a lot more sustainable if we manage actually to, to replace the pure chemicals that we need with those waste streams as nutrients. The alternative food stocks could reduce the amount of wild-caught fish needed to make fish feed, transforming an industry with a vital role in feeding the world's growing population. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.